Hey, in this video, I'm going to be reviewing and swatching Essie's new Rocky Rose collection. This collection has a bunch of beautiful, neutral, earthy, warm shades that I think are the perfect shades for transitioning from summer into fall. So let's jump right on in to the swatching. First up, we have Come Out to Clay, and this is the lightest shade in the collection, and it's described as a pink nude nail polish with beige undertones. And this, although it is a pretty basic beigey color, it applied phenomenally. And this shade does have a unique warmth to it. I'd actually say it has more of a peach undertone than a pink but it applied really well, two coats, super creamy formula. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and spoiler you guys, and I give all of these polishes in this collection five out of five jaunty bottles. I don't even know if I'm gonna put that animation up so you don't have to hear the bloop, bloop, bloop every five seconds, but uh, just know that I really liked this collection and all of the polishes in here got five out of five from me. I'm getting a little bit behind here, but next we have Set in Sandstone, and this is described as a neutral yellow-toned coral nail polish with dirty undertones, says the SE website. To me, this is just a really true creamsicle color. On my camera, it's coming off a little yellow, so here is an another shot with different lighting so you can see that orange tone more. Again, this one applied beautifully in two coats, really great, creamy, shiny formula. Moving on, we have Around the Bend, and on the SE website, they describe this as a vibrant yellow-toned pink nail polish. I don't really know where that's coming from, and actually later on they say yellow-toned about another shade that's not yellow-toned, but I'd say this is sort of um, a lightened-down coral color, so I guess there's yellow in there to make it sort of corally. This one was one of my favorites from the collection. It's super unique to me, and I really, really love the undertone. Next up, we have Into the Abliss, and this is a dirty pink mauve nude nail polish with blue undertones. And I feel like that's a pretty accurate description. It's definitely a cooler toned pink and it definitely has a dusty slash dirty property to it which I think will make it a popular one from the collection. Here is two coats of Into the Abliss with no top coat. So I actually wasn't sent this shade, but it is a part of the Rocky Rose collection. It's called No Shade Here, and on the website it says it's described as a vivid hot pink nail polish with yellow undertones. Let me know if I'm crazy. I don't see any yellow in that at all. It just looks like a hot pink polish. Regardless, it's really pretty, and next time I'm at Ulta, I'm going to see if they have it. Moving along, we have Cliffhanger, and this is described as a milky brown nude polish with pink undertones. And this is a really pretty rich brown shade. I think for those of you that are a little scared to wear browns, this would be a good introductory color for you. It's actually really flattering. And again, the formula is so amazing. It just makes it a dream to apply. Moving along, we have Rocky Rose, and I'm guessing this is like the, it's like the main guy of the collection. And this is described as a terracotta nude nail polish with red and yellow undertones. And I feel like that's a really accurate description. It's very terracotta-y. I feel like the name's not super fitting because there's not like a ton of rosiness to it. It's more of just like a burnt orange terracotta color, but this one was definitely one of my favorites from the collection. And the next color is actually super similar. So similar, it's kind of interesting that they put both in the same collection. And this one is called Yes I Canyon, and this is just a little bit more of an orange shade, a little brighter. It's described as a burnt orange nail polish with yellow and red undertones, but I feel like it's pretty much that terracotta color, but turned up a little bit more on the orange side. Here's a side by side of those two colors. We have Rocky Rose on the left and Yes I Canyon on the right. And as you can see, they're very, very close. In daylight, you can tell that Yes I Canyon is much brighter, but honestly, you'll probably be fine with one or the other. And lastly, we have Bedrock and Roll, and this is the darkest color in the collection, and it's described as a deep red toned brown. To me, this is just a true dark red brick shade. It's really, really nice. This is one of those polishes I love to wear this time of the year that just kind of get me in the mood for autumn. It applied really well. 
And again, I just really like this collection. What do you guys think? Do you like this collection? Are there any shades you're looking at picking up? If so, which ones? Or do you hate the collection? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you'd like to watch more swatch videos, you can just click on your screen here. And if you'd like to see a look using these polishes, I actually posted a manicure over on my Instagram and a couple tutorials. So make sure you go check that out. As always, thanks for stopping by and I'll see you next time.